Hey, Jesse France here with some more Jack 2. Uh, we're getting ready to actually go ahead and do that job the crew want us to do, mainly because it was close by, and two, because it's a Jet Board Challenge. So, um, I think it's a Jet Board Challenge because he said something about the reason he wanted us to do it was because we were so good at the Jet Board, according to his mechanic, who, if you haven't figured out yet, is Kira. So, yeah, anyway, this connects over here to the, to the port. Alright, I think everything's out in the water, maybe? I don't really remember this one very well. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I remember this. You have to... Great. You only have so many minutes to do each of these. better off not hitting them, because this shit. There we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, I still got a little over a minute, so not more. I don't know if I can do it or not, but I'll certainly try. left and yeah I could probably do that in the next 30 seconds but I'm not sure where the other ones are at oh I see oh in there shoot there's one thing I don't think I have enough time to make it from here to there I'm not on foot check board yeah sucks I just had Probably another 10 more seconds, I probably could do it. It'll tell me I failed in a second. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool to see a little scene there. Uh, but we can try it again. Mm -mm. Let me try and hit them in such an order that we don't. You gotta love how they have like the chase music going, but like the only thing that's causing it to be that way is because yeah, you're technically you've technically alerted the guards because you're destroying these things, but like they're not even bothering to fly any um, Hellcats or any other uh, other zoos or anything above. Okay, now, this one is actually pretty easy if a person can just make a straight. So bad. Should be able to do it. Only got three left. Don't 
kill myself first. Shoot. Missed ones that were way over here. I'm a little confused. Is there one like that's hidden behind a thing that I am not seeing? I have enough time this time because last time I ever hit this point I only had 12 seconds. So I feel like I should have enough time to get across. Oh, there it is. Okay. 23 seconds. Oh, of course it's the hardest one. There we go. Okay, so now we have a choice of going to go see Cruz or Torn, and considering that we are so close to Crew, I mean, he's just right there. There's no point in us all the way, going all the way to Torn right now, so let's go ahead and go see him. Comes a Baron sent his goons to harass me as usual, eh? <gasps> Health violations, back taxes, everyone wants a piece of me. Oh, yeah. Lucky for you, there's plenty to go around. Destroying that cargo in the port is more important than you know, eh? I've got a new project going, and I don't need anyone snooping around my shipments. Let's just say, if everything goes as planned, I'm going to corner the market in metalhead trophies. <laughs> anyway, I have another job for you. An associate of mine, Bruta, works with me in the forced labor trade. You mean the slave trade? Uh, I prefer freedom challenged. Lurkers are the city's low-class labor. Bruta pays me handsomely to help him free lurkers and get them safely out of the city. Oh, he lifts my spirit to help those in need. And I need his money. Lurkers? We don't like lurkers. But you do like gun upgrades, eh? There are three Crimson Guard transports carrying lurkers to a project the Baron has outside the city. Take out the transports and bring the three lurkers to Bruta's trinket stand in the bazaar. Okay, pretty easy enough. Okay. okay, so we have to go do this one. We don't have a choice. Uh, which way do I need to go? As you can tell now that I have the jet board, I'm pretty well this just stuck on just using it permanently. <laughs> You can still cause a lot of accidents in the jet board because it is easy to like hit people, especially when you get in a more congested area, which is why I always jump off of the jet board in that instance. This is your baron. Uh, but in most cases, it's a lot easier to get around on than. Oh, almost completely. Oh, that's right. I gotta like. I gotta like stop them because they're actually moving. Remember how I do this? this Moving to next sector. Oh, okay. I, I need to. Okay, I need to. I think this one is literally just like. Okay, I don't want that one. I want that one. I want that one. And yeah, he did give us a pretty nice up weapon upgrade. Stop! Up and get in. We'll take you to Bruda. Morning, hurry up. Oh, I thought those one people were a pain in the butt. These guys make it. Make it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay down. The airways are usually too congested at this point, obviously. I'm not too worried about hitting guards. I always kind of feel bad because I'm always hitting all these NPCs, but eh. I think they're there more as like barriers. I think they can get in the game. more hits. This thing isn't going to last. There you go. Oh my god. Here's another beast of burden. Okay. 
Okay, so I got the one out. I was wondering if I'd be better off. Um, actually, abandoning my vehicle. Definitely want a new one before I grab the next guy. Okay. Get more cruisers in here. Stop shooting at me. Yo, animal lover, get your furry butt in the vehicle. I will say at least they're not too far away from the drop off point. So annoying. Vehicle since I don't want it to blow up when I'm trying to transport these guys. It's funny how we go from, you know, killing I don't know how many lurkers in the last. Alright, I know he's around here somewhere. Leave me alone. I will just run you over. Okay, he's actually like behind me, so I'm gonna have to make a little circle. I don't want to get too confused. Okay, so you turn up there. If you're confused on how I know where they're at, it's because the little green dogs on the end. It should be kind of explanatory, but I realize that. To Bruder. Little Archie Warrior, you have to great thing for Bruder and look at <laughs> You see the uh, glitched out Crimson Guard zoomer behind me? No touch ya, the dude. Oh, sorry. You great guy. Bruder, not forget. Bruder, pay you back. You stay. Cool. No. Get more cruisers in here. Oh, cheap. Give me a word. We're moving in. He must have still been kind of glitched Suspect out fleet. from me being the person who's been fighting. Um, okay. So, we've now helped out. We've done two missions for crew. Uh, it looks like he wants us there again. Let's see. Yeah, it wants us to talk to crew and talk to the shadow. We're still close to the crew, so I'd rather just go back to him. There's no point in me running all the way to the shadow until I'm a little closer to him. Um, okay, since that guy's not chasing us anymore, we have board time. So yeah, we'll go ahead and talk to crew, see what he wants. Alright, let's see what crew wants. Mm, you 
years ago, when I was an art collector, I hit the local museum to borrow a famous statue of Ma, the founder of Haven City. In his hands, the statue held the ruby key to the city, an artifact of surpassing beauty. And, of course, priceless worth, eh? Oh, I just love art. While smuggling the huge statue through the sewers, eh? A grueling rainstorm flooded the whole place. The statue and five of my best men were swept away. That's terrible. Yes. A tragic loss. I've missed that statue ever since. Pretty sure Jack was talking about your people. So, been so full of water and metalheads that I can't get anyone to go down there and retrieve the artifact. But you're special, Jack. You can do it. Jack! Hey, what am I, chub liver? Oh, don't I wish. Mm. Now go down there, drain the sewers, and find that statue at the bottom. Bring back the ruby key artifact, and it will open up doors beyond our wildest dreams, eh? Great. More mucking in the mud. I hate to burst your bathtub bubbles, baby, but that ain't just mud down there. Yeah. Considering it is the sewers. Okay, so we can go to the sewers and go talk to Shadow. Well, now that we know what our plan is, um... We can go. We can go ahead and talk to the shadow, just because mainly the sewers are not too far away from the underground. So let's go ahead and do that. Find out what they want and see what mission would rather do. All right. So we just got here to the uh, to the underground. Looks like we're going to actually be meeting them outside. Let's see what's going on. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid's crocodile with you. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> so what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodile. <laughs> hey, kid! Wait! Come back! We gotta protect him! Uh oh! Here comes trouble! Okay, so your typical escort mission. Yay! so obvious by letting him keep an amulet on his neck? That, that might be a good idea. Come on. Get in, kid. Gotta get in the vehicle with the kid! Hold on! Okay. That part is probably the worst part of it. At least we're gonna walk clear across the city like this. Uh... Always too slow though, so that's always kind of a good thing. Looks like today is all vehicle missions, people. Well, I guess the jump board isn't technically a vehicle, but they're not your atypical mission. Right there, I couldn't see that it was the pathway. You know, I should know it's a pathway. 
stop. I like the uh, commentary slam. There we go. Okay, so I'm just waiting for me to kind of take out these two to Samus told us to bring the kid to you. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep him good. Oh, sweet. Interesting. That insufferable mutt never liked anyone but the boy before. I guess I'm just good with animals. I hope we have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tool. <laughs> Frankly, I don't believe it exists. Might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. Roger and there you go. We're making our sweep. So I'll pick up these bullets while I'm running around. Okay, so. That seems like a good place to stop because the next couple missions are pretty long. We have the sewer mission to get that uh, artifact for crew, and then we need to take the air train out to uh, interrupt the, the dig at the excavation site. That was actually the mission I was thinking of later when they said to go save Ben. I don't know why. I guess in my mind it's like outside the city, meant outside, like, or I think they said like at the power plant. That's where I assumed the power plant was, uh, so yeah, I, I kind of just mix those up, you know, so sue me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've been posting Jack 2 videos every single day. Uh, this is, you know, no exception. I'm actually scheduled up for the next couple of days on these, so it's good. And so whenever you want to know when the next one comes out, just hit that notification bell and it'll alert you whenever I upload the next Jack 2 video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one. Bye.